from today, Georgia primary voters will narrow down the candidates in the gubernatorial race. All week, we're profiling the top five candidates working to try to get your vote. Tonight, Faith Abube shows us a side of Democrat Stacey Abrams that you've probably never seen. And that's the difference between God and me. I'll explain that in a minute. But first, it's just before 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. Candidate for Governor Stacey Abrams is dressed and ready for an agenda-packed day. You will have one of my favorite teas, which are my novel teas. Thank you. I see what they did there. There you go. <laughs> She's a tea lover. My grandmother actually used to collect, uh, where she collects teapots. And so when I was really young, I started doing the same. When not in the kitchen making tea or her special Parmesan crusted chicken, you might find Abrams in front of one of her many bookcases. I love books a lot. She's published eight of her own, six of them romance novels under the name Selena Montgomery. But Abrams hasn't always lived a life of privilege. We grew up poor. We had the water cut off. Uh, my mom would call that urban camping. That humble upbringing has informed so much of her political platform. As she campaigns to become governor, the historic prospects aren't lost on her. If she wins, she would be the first female governor and the first African-American governor for the state of Georgia. Important first for a woman who was also the first woman to lead either party in the Georgia General Assembly and the first African-American female valedictorian of her Metro Atlanta High School. I appreciate what this moment means. But it's a lot of work crisscrossing the state. And here, another revelation. Meditation keeps Abram centered. Yeah, so I started probably about a year ago by taking that time in the morning, 15, 20 minutes. It really makes it easier to get through the day. And when the bad things happen, when stress happens, when the unexpected happens. Like when news of her $200,000 debt made national headlines. And many suggested she not run for governor. I have a real life. You should believe in all of who you are. And you have to tell your whole story. You have to tell your whole truth. You don't get to keep parts of it back because they're embarrassing. One thing she's not embarrassed about. Oh, and that's the difference between God and me. Her love for country music. Some of my nieces and nephews. And her family, mom, dad, and five siblings who've kept her grounded through all the ups and downs. I'm just grateful to have grown up with a family that loves and protects us, but also challenges us to be better people. And you know, there are so many details we couldn't fit into this piece, like why she chose the pen name Selena Montgomery, the story behind the $200,000 debt, why she only likes country music up until 1998. We've posted those details in the full story on 11alive.com.